Um, and we are a busy race. We've launched a lot of little robots into orbit around the planet, thousands of them, many of them communication satellites, so please keep tweeting and make use of this hardware. Um, but also imaging satellites, uh, large and small and of various capabilities, and the number just keeps growing. So coming back to this Mount St. Helens image, this was one of my uh, epiphany moments. I was working in the resource extraction business, and I saw this post-eruption uh, Landsat satellite image that was taken about eight years, in 1988, about eight years after the Mount St. Helens eruption. And on this image, uh, like you can now, I could clearly see the blast area and the mud flow area from that cataclysmic eruption. Remember the photographs? All the trees knocked down as far as the eye could see, branches stripped off them. It looked apocalyptic. I looked at this image and I went, whoa, what is all this? <laughs> What, are, what is this checkerboard pattern in this area? And by the way, this is National Forest land. I, like many people, did not realize National Forest Service actually is in the business of helping people cut down trees. Um, so at the time, there was a clear cutting happening in the forests of the United States that rivaled or exceeded the clear cutting going on in the Brazilian Amazon. Uh, we were pointing the finger at them while we were hacking our own forests up. And I thought, you know, imagery is great, as a tool to show people what they wouldn't otherwise be able to see. And that was an education for me. It was an education for almost everybody I showed this image to. Some other good things you can do with imagery, of course, um, disaster response, especially when the disasters are far out at sea or in a remote area. Um, so imagery is a powerful tool to be able to bring to bear quickly to shine a light on what's actually happening in these events. Um, and there's a little more to it than that. It can give you a sense for just how bad the event is. My heart sank when I saw this satellite image uh, and I realized these were the oil skimmer response vessels that we had at work on this slick and we were just a few days into the spill at that point and I realized we are outmatched by this beast. The answer to the question, will technology save the planet, is clearly no. People will save the planet. But technology will give them the inspiration and the tools that they need in the time frame that they need it to take the action that needs to be taken.